Okay, so I squeeze that down. All right, so now I'm connected in there. And then I disconnect this other roach clip, but I can get rid of these now, get those out of the way. And, and so now you'll see that I've got one remaining dangling wire coming out of my, um, my two battery cases. And that is now going to line up with, with this one. So what we'll do Grab another butt connector here. Oh, just, again, you make sure there aren't any little dangling wires or they'll f kind of fray out while you try to put it in. And then just slide it inside here. Okay, so crimp that down. And now we take the remaining black wire, put it into the other end of that butt connector, and Crimp that down. And you see when they crimp, I don't know how well you can see this. In fact, here, let me just, uh, okay. So you can see they just kind of squish down. I'm just compressing it like that. And there's a little bit of metal inside these uh, butt connectors. So, so you can kind of see, I don't know how well you can see that, but there's th this little stretch right here is metal. So what you do is you slide the, your you slide your um, wire down inside there, and then you squeeze that metal so that it pinches around there. And so now you've got this whole thing connected. There are no exposed wires, and you're ready to put batteries in. Okay. So um, it's generally not a good idea to mix battery types. Uh, in this case, we've got two different containers. So what we'll do is we'll just put these in here. Then we'll put these two in here. Okay, so now we've got six batteries, which means we should have, provided we turn this on, we should be able to test this. Put one down in there. And one, oh, overload, yep, so good. Okay, 8.64 volts. That should give us exactly what we need. Plug this in here, turn on the power. There you go, you see the power. Ah, come on. Okay, so now uh, that is your complete mobile receiver kit and just based on my initial test with uh, this 9 volt battery I'm guessing that we would have gotten about an hour of use out of this 9 volt battery. Uh, with that said good Duracell or Energizer batteries and we'll just have to run a test but I'm guessing that they're going to give you a probably like out of six AA batteries they'd probably give you about uh, two or three hours of use out of your receiver so let's have um, let's have a go at this here. We'll set the antenna up. Remember, we've got our little plug here. So we plug the big one in there. And let me get my, this is the wireless uh, microphone, right? And that part clips on. So, okay, so I've got the microphone on. I turn this on and it says it's receiving so you can see it, it's receiving when that little ready light is on and then I should be able to plug this in and now well that's it so uh, hopefully now you've enjoyed learning how to make a portable wireless microphone system for your Kodak ZI-8. Uh, I'm not sure if you'll be watching this on YouTube. If you are, go ahead and rate it. Um, if you're watching it somewhere else, uh, pass the link around and uh, I really hope you enjoy it. So in the in the first part of this tutorial we decided, uh, I decided, to um, use six AA batteries 
and uh, going to connect those to this connector that we found that was the same size. Um, but for some of you, a 9 volt battery might seem more convenient. I mean, it's certainly smaller, and if all you need is an hour, then that is uh, you know, probably a good choice. So we've got these uh, 9 volt snap connectors here. Let me just get you a close up. Okay, so you see what these look like. Uh, they just they they have the little you know area that connects to the battery and some wires on them. So um, what we do is let's open this up. Oops, <laughs> there you go. So this comes as a you know what is it a five pack. Uh, and and this one's real easy and what I've done is I found another plug where did I put it here it is and this plug uh, even though it looks a little different it connects in just the same and um, you know we'll, we'll, we'll have to check the the voltage again but you can see this is just another an, another plug so what we're gonna do you remember we take our plug and by the way um, I happen to have some of these lying around. You, you probably do too. If you don't, just go down to your local thrift store and you'll find that these are pretty easy to come by. And they cost maybe, you know, anywhere from 50 cents to a couple bucks. Okay, so what we do is we put this in the wire cutter part here. Let me just see. If you happen to have one of these, um, there you go. You see it says wire cutter there. So anyway, I put the. I put the cable in the wire cutter area, squeeze, so now I've got this disconnected. And I'm guessing that what we're going to find is that this white stripe, and so here, this is real easy to see. One of these has a white stripe, this side does not have a white stripe. So I'm guessing what we're going to find is that the white stripe is the positive, the solid black side is the negative. First thing we do, we want to and I just, to, to separate these two, you see how they're kind of together, just put your fingernails right in the, in the little crease there and just pull them apart. They come apart real easy, like butter. And sometimes it's yeah, nice to just spin a little bit and that helps it to come off and it, 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 it keeps the wire itself from fraying. Alright. Okay, so now this, as you recall, will fit in right here. And then let's grab our, let's take our guess here, connect the white, uh, uh, striped one, to the positive side of the 9 volt battery. And here's my black roach clip over here. We'll connect that one to the negative side, negative terminal of the battery. And power, and it turns on. So we are right. So now it's just a matter of making that a permanent connection. So yeah, this is real easy. Remember our, uh, let me just slide down here so you see everything. Our butt connectors, just make sure we've got two on hand. And we start with the positive. There's no reason you couldn't start with the negative. I'm starting with the positive. Remember, you slide it inside your butt connector. And then you crimp that metal down to pinch in the, that. Make sure you've got a good, solid connection. And you find the white banded. Uh, side of your your connector, slide that inside and crimp that down. Make sure you've got a good solid connection. Okay, then you do the same thing for the negative side, which is the black. Slide it inside there, make sure you've got a good connection. Then take the black 
the solid black side of your connector. Okay, once you get it in there, crimp that down. Okay, so now you see this 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 is a much simpler connection. Much more straightforward. And now you just snap that onto your 9 volt battery. And that's it. Now turns on, powers up just fine. And let's do our live test. So again, we plug the microphone into the back and we get our uh, this this is our wireless microphone lapel uh, microphone change that to talk so we see that power light come on right it was off turn it on and then when we turn this on we should see okay both the power and the ready light come on uh, so that means that if, if the ready light and the ready light is this uh, green light here um, if the ready uh, if the ready light comes on that means it's actually receiving from it, it's receiving from the from the unit here from the wireless mic so now when I plug that into the zi8 here let me just make sure we've got good reception adjust that volume a little bit uh, well now we should have uh, it, you know this this working perfectly well off of a nine volt battery, and you can get, I, I think you can get little container compartments for the nine volt battery. Um, you could also just use a rubber band, <laughs> just put a rubber band around this thing to hold the nine volt battery in place while you're while you're carrying this around. Um, and and another thing to note is you you don't always need the microphone uh, antenna extended all the way. Like if I if I put the microphone antenna down and lock it away there. Uh, I should still be able to go, you know, about 12 feet away, 10 feet away, which, you know, isn't a bad distance if you're recording with your ZI-8. Um, so here, let me just show you. Okay, so, I, I, you know, a few feet away, and this, uh, you know, th th this setup will work just great for you. Um, so that's that's how easy it is to do the 9 volt battery. So now what we have are two connectors. We have a 9 volt uh, battery connector and we have the 6 AA battery connector. Um, and both of these will work smashingly to power your uh, remote receiver or your portable, your now portable wireless uh, receiver microphone set for your Kodak ZI8. Hooray, good luck, and enjoy. Thank you so much.